So this is our drama essay. It's the last essay that we have this term, other than the short essays we'll be writing on the final. If you're watching this online, make sure you check your own due dates. For you guys, the brick and mortar class, your due dates are up at the top. The introduction outline is due via Canvas um, on April uh, 24th. Um, it's imperative that you do this because your topic needs to be approved um, for this paper, um, which I'll have more on in a second. Our last day that we meet is um, April 30th. Your rough draft will be due in class. Please bring two copies. Um, we'll do an in-class workshop. Also, your journal will be due um, on that day. Um, and if you're wondering, uh, for you guys, what I look for with your journal, um, I look that you're writing the whole time um, and that it's on topic. Um, for the longer journals where we write, you know, 15 minutes, uh, your journal should probably be about a page um, or a little over. Um, a little shorter if we have some of the journal topics that are um, a little shorter. And I'll remind you of that stuff um, later. Um, May Day, uh, the final draft is due uh, in Canvas by 11.59 p.m. That would be May 1st. Any questions about the due dates? Okay, so here is your assignment. Part of writing for college classes often involves coming up with your own thesis and ideas for analysis. For the final essay in this course, you're to write a 1,350 to 1,600 word essay on a topic of your choosing. This is probably an essay that gets on to the sixth page. Five full, full pages is probably going to be 1,350. Um, you must, however, use a work either from the drama unit or from a play contained within the textbook. So you must use a play um, for your essay. You may use one of the one-act plays if you are more comfortable, but do keep in mind that your paper needs to be around five full pages. You will want to consider several literary elements uh, of the pieces, such as imagery, character, <coughs> tone, plot, metaphor, simile, in your discussion of your chosen play. But do remember that um, the literary terms are not a checklist. They are there to give you a vocabulary to discuss the literature. Questions so far? All righty. Now, how do I get started? Uh, the most important part of this process is selecting a work that you are interested in writing about. After you've selected a work that you want to write about, please do the following. Read the work again and take copious notes both in the margin of your text and your notebook. You know, notice themes, metaphors, stuff that keeps recurring, um, issues that are presented. Um, maybe there are social issues that are examined um, in the play. Whatever it might be, whatever you're noticing as you're going through it the second time, start writing that stuff down because you're going to be building kind of a toolbox to be able to talk about the play. Watch a production or productions of the play if one or more is available. For most of the plays in this book, um, there are uh, productions uh, available. I have a production of Trifles. Um, if anybody wants to borrow it, you may. Um, we're going to watch it in class today, though. Um, once you've reviewed the play, brainstorm themes, ideas, topics, and other, other items of significance to write about. Um, write a rough outline and with a working thesis. Do a preliminary research to see if you can support your thesis. And write your full outline or tweak your topic, depending on what you need to do at this point in the process. So in other words, first and foremost, pick something you're interested in writing about. Gather information about it. Try to come up with a focus. Do a little research. See if that focus is supportable. Um, and then start drafting the essay or, or get a clear um, outline if you're at that point. If you start to research and find that eh, you may not be able to support your thesis, Go back a couple steps and try again. Yes? What did Helen like to write? Tell about how Helen is acceptable. The Miracle Worker? Yes. Is it in the book? I don't know. Um, God, I haven't seen the movie since my mother tied me to a chair and made me watch it when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't put that shot up here like last year. So. I. Um, if there's a play that you want to do, and this can go for anybody, um, send me an email, preferably with a link to the text of it, so I can kind of go over it. And then we can go from there. Um, other questions? 
All right, um, writing about drama. The online writing lab at Purdue University, you would have accessed this as part of your research project way back in January, um, has a good overview uh, of writing a literature paper. Um, in addition, read the writing about drama chapter in your textbook on pages 1376 to 1390. I think those are accurate page numbers, even though we just changed the... Uh, 1376. Those are inaccurate. I will have to send you out the correct page numbers. Oh, here we go. Write a research essay on drama. 1550 uh, is where the chapter starts. It's chapter 24A, and it goes to about 1575, or 15... 64. So that's 1550 to 1564 rather than uh, 1376 to 1390. Apologies. Okay, essay ideas. If you're having trouble generating essay ideas, we want to avoid that dreaded writer's block. At the end of several chapters in the drama section of your textbook, there are writing essays, ideas, and you can um, generate ideas in the general question section and after the full length plays. Although you won't necessarily use these exact topics, if you're stuck, you can certainly go through these prompts and generate ideas for your essay. And those page numbers are from the last textbook, so I will have to update them on Canvas for you guys. But at the end of every play, you're going to have general questions that are going to be ideas on the main ideas or themes that the plays explore. That'd be a good place to start with if you're stuck for a topic. Um, questions? Okay. In addition to your own analysis of the works, you must use at least four secondary sources that you incorporate into your arguments. The primary source does not count this number, but you must cite it on your work cited page. In other words, you're going to have five entries um, on your work cited. And I'll remind everybody about the, once again, about the uh, approved research material um, section of your syllabus. If it's not a .edu, um, a .gov, or came from one of the um, library's databases, you have to get pre-approval in order to use it. And you cannot use things like Spark Notes, Cliff Notes, 123 Help Me, any of those um, garbage sites. We have great databases um, with the library, so use those. Questions on that? So four secondary sources and the primary source. Um, these sources must be viable, legitimate, and academic sources that analyze the work. Remember to use MLA documentation when documenting your sources. Avoid, excuse me, at all costs, avoid writing a plot summary of the text. Just like with the poetry essay and with the fiction essay, you're to assume that the reader has read the text. Some issues to think about that might help you get started on your paper. What are the characters' desires, wants, needs? Um, what are the major themes of the work? How are they present in the text? What societal issues are affecting the work? Uh, does the time period and uh, social customs play an part, important part in the work? What does the work mean? What are we supposed to get out of it? These are all things that you can uh, look into and discuss. Now, in terms of a play that's going to have uh, the most available uh, on the databases, I would probably say that Midsummer Night's Dream, the Shakespearean play that we're going to read, um, would have the most research, but many students find Shakespeare difficult to read. Um, so that's kind of up to you. Um, a dollhouse will probably have quite a bit out there as well. Questions before I move on. Okay, uh, the requirements uh, are more or less the same as the other papers. It needs to be correctly formatted, uh, free of grammatical and mechanical errors, and so on. Um, do look at the rubric to make sure that you are following all the guidelines. Um, again, this paper is worth 200 points for you guys. Um, uh, the idea being that this is the kind of the culmination of your composition. Uh, papers that you've written in English 101 and 102. So that's why I'm kind of letting you guys out on your own as far as the topic goes. Any final questions? Yes? You said there'd be a 200 point um, final mm -hmm. flow. Is that like multiple choice components? 
Essay. It's going to be three small essays. And I will give you the study guide um, for the essays for the final um, well in advance so you can prepare for it. And if you're watching this online, you already have uh, the reading lists on Canvas. Other questions? All right, let me turn this video off.